lovely monkey bladders. It's Monkey Island. I think a lot of classic adventure games, in particular the Monkey Islands, they, they really did tell these very interesting kind of interactive stories. And, and I think people who haven't really experienced them are really kind of missing out. You can't win if you don't play. Monkey Island really has lasted a long time in a way that we couldn't really have, have uh, expected or, or, or predicted. I'm much too powerful for you to kill your little moron. We were not zeroing in on the hardcore 18 to 34 year old male. We were just making it for everybody we knew, making them games that like our family could enjoy. What are you looking for, son? The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition is a faithfully reimagined version of the classic 1990 PC game. You just don't know when to quit, do you? The biggest challenge in recreating the game was convincing people it was a good idea. It's nearly 20 years old, it was 256 colors. When we were doing things, Monkey Island, I think, at its height, uh, was like five people working on the thing. We didn't have storyboards that had to be built, and a whole CGI machines had to get geared up. It was a lot easier to come up with something funny. <laughs> and then just run back to our desks and program it in. It works! Oh, I'm so relieved. We took a look at all of the art, all of the characters, and we said, how do we bring this back to a new audience? Okay, maggot, whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Our first start was to take this 8-bit medium and faithfully re-envision the sets and live up to what the fans would expect. It's all becoming clear. I really wanted that classical animation feel, so we went in there and hand-painted over 100 layouts. We went back and looked at the audio, and the special effects, and the music. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. I was taking these old bleeps and bloops. Do, 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 do. And then I had to re-record everything for a current generation, as well as be faithful to fans of the game from 20 years ago. One of the big things was to make sure that there were as many live players as possible. Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. This is Dominic Armato as Guybrush Threepwood, take 452. We've gone back and for the first time added brand new recorded dialogue with the original cast from The Curse of Monkey Island. We immediately knew that we wanted Dominic Armato back as Guybrush. Hi, my name's Guybrush Threepwood and I want to be a pirate. Dominic can best be described as the ultimate Monkey Island fanboy. You keep hoping after a while, you hope, oh, the next one's going to come. I can't wait to do the next one. And after about six or seven years, it's like, okay, I'm just... I've given up all hope, it's never coming back. And then get the email one day, it's like, hey, give me a call, something's going on. It's like, yes, it's coming back. Worf, Aruf, Woof, LeChuck. Great, we got it. He knows every little detail and pretty much knew all the dialogue just because he loves it so much. Perfect. You see what I'm saying? It's because he knows the right. game so well. He just knows what's going on and he just nails it. Is that a banana in your pocket or are you just glad to see us? The game started with a point-and-click interface with the mouse, and making it something that people could play on a controller was the biggest challenge. The interface filled almost half of the screen, so we removed that and put it in the background so it would work well on any platform. We just couldn't say no to anything, like if it's cool and, and the game deserves it, we just like, it's got to go in. I'm gonna put you up against the machine. Yikes. Back in the day, we'd play the game until we got stuck, and obviously there was no internet uh, to help us along. Gee, I don't know how much longer I can hold my breath. We didn't want people to have to break the experience, so we created a hint system integrated directly into the game. Well, that wasn't so hard. The most significant feature is the ability to press a button. No, not the red button. And switch seamlessly from the new version to the original version. I have love for the Bricky Pixels. You can jump back and forth and it's pretty cool. We built our game on top of the original code. Don't touch anything! It is identical to the classic version of the game that we released. I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now. A lot of gamers, game journalists, critics, fans, consider Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge, to be a LucasArts masterpiece. Is that the best you can do? For the sequel, we went bigger. We added direct control, so now I can move the character around versus pointing and clicking. Try and catch me, old man. Oops. For the new player, you can press a button and objects will highlight in the scene, so it gives you a little bit of guidance. Hey, how old Pegbiter get loose? And as a bonus feature, we put a lot of the original art from the archives that was used to make the game. Do you have anything else to report? Uh, no. Well... There is one other small little thing. 
Why, <laughs> why does that happen, Ron? Why, why do his pants fall down? See, the sense? problem is you're trying to justify it too much. <sighs> it's just funny. Just roll with it. One of the most compelling features we've added is developer commentary. Why can't you people just leave a retired pirate in peace? You know, looking back 20 years on it, making those games is just a heck of a lot of fun. And I think some of the things that make Monkey Island so special are because we could just sit there and riff all day long on stuff. I think that could have been a really deep moment. His pants fell for a reason. Mm -hmm. For example, Gravity. he was digging up. Oh, you win. It's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> With this game now being the 20th anniversary of Monkey Island, whether you're a new fan or an old fan, there's nostalgic fun for people that played it 20 years ago, and I think people are going to enjoy it today. Either way, you came to the right place. You can tell their labors of love, you know, that they're really cared for. I just want to say how good looking Guybrush's hair is looking. Good call on the hair. I like the new hair. Hair. You'll have to try to restrain yourself. We preserve the game in the way that everyone knows it and loves it. Snuggle puss. Get lost. Punky doodle. I'm warning you. Pooper duper. Maybe I should go rake the back 40. And of course, at any time, if you want, you can just push a button and go right back to the original game. Name your poison. Even though it's getting the graphical facelift, it's getting the voice and all that, it's got to be faithful to the original. It's got to be authentic. It has to be a Monkey Island game. Ah, the ghost pirate LeChuck. Get a grip. Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? Thank <laughs> you.